Fair Trade changes the way trade works through better prices, decent working conditions and a fairer deal for farmers and workers in developing countries. When a product carries the Fair Trade mark, it means the producers and traders have met Fair Trade standards. The Fair Trade standards put more power in the hands of small scale farmers and agricultural workers, who are often marginalised by conventional trade, so they can build thriving businesses and communities. The main types of fair trade standards are for plantations that hire workers, for traders who buy and sell fair trade certified products along the supply chain, and for small scale producer cooperatives. Small scale producers are at the heart of fair trade, like Rosa. She grows coffee on her farm in Peru. Rosa is a member of a coffee cooperative. For products like coffee, cocoa, and cotton, Fair Trade only certifies these kinds of small scale producer organizations to increase their access to international markets and has developed standards which include three types of requirements economic, social, and environmental. To be part of Fair Trade, Rossa's cooperative has to meet the Fair Trade standard for small scale producer organizations. Rossa's cooperative earns the Fair Trade minimum price when they sell their coffee on Fair Trade terms. The fair trade minimum price aims to at least cover the average costs of sustainable production. It acts as a safety net when global market prices fall. Rossa's cooperative still gets the market price when that is higher and can also negotiate for more. Buyers are required to pay a set fair trade premium. The fair trade premium is an extra sum of money paid on top of the selling price. Rossa, together with the other members of her cooperative, decide how to spend the fair trade premium to achieve their goals. This could mean that Rossa gets training in how to look after her coffee trees, or she and her fellow members may decide to buy equipment to roast and package their own coffee, expanding their market potential and increasing their revenue. Fairtrade certified cooperatives are run democratically. All the members have a voice in the decisions of the organization. Fairtrade cooperatives protect the health and safety of their members and workers. The standard prohibits discrimination against any particular member or social group. The rights of children and vulnerable groups should be protected. Women like Rossa have to be treated equally and are encouraged to take leadership positions in the organization. Rossa's cooperative has a women's committee to promote women's rights and empower women members to solve problems. Whenever we update or revise the standard, we ask Rossa's cooperative and all certified producer organizations to give their opinions. And when it comes to fair trade globally, producers have an equal say in how we're run. The Fair Trade Standard guides Rossa and her cooperative in protecting the environment and adapting to climate change. Rossa follows requirements on pesticide use, protection of natural resources such as water and soil, and prevention of deforestation. All Fair Trade certified producers are routinely audited by an independent certifier to make sure they are upholding the standards. The standard also supports organizations to grow stronger over time, with requirements that apply one, three or six years after joining Fair Trade. And what's the result? Rossa's cooperative becomes more resilient and inclusive. Farmers are empowered to build stronger businesses and generate more benefits for their families and communities. With the input of farmers themselves, Fair Trade continues to improve the standard for small-scale producer organizations striving for greater empowerment and impact. More than 500 producer groups from 70 countries recently had their say as part of an extensive review. The result is a new version of the standard. Important changes include stronger management practices, more robust planning and transparency requirements, an increased focus on small-scale producers and family farming, greater protections for hired workers, a new gender policy, increased resilience to climate change, and stronger environmental protection. The new version of the standard took effect on the 1st of July 2019, with transition periods for organizations certified before this date. Do you want to know more? Visit fairtrade.net forward slash standards.